this watercolour tear makeup look, first you're going to need to apply your makeup just as you normally would. So I'm using my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation as my base. This is a foundation I'm loving at the moment. Then I'm taking my 17 Stay Time Concealer and just popping that under my eyes and on any blemishes to cover any imperfections. Next up we're going to do the brows, just as you normally would, so I'm taking my Soap and Glory Archery Brow Pencil and just giving them a brush through and a bit of a comb before applying a primer on my lids. Now for this I'm using my MAC Paint in Bare Canvas. Now it's time to start building up that eye makeup that I normally do, so I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette, I'm using the shade 13 just as a base and then going in with the shade Whiskey in the outer corners of my eyes. Just really working on blending that in into the crease of my eye to make my eyes a little bit wider. I'm also going to take that on a thin brush and run that underneath my lower lash line and make sure it's blended outwards with the top crease. Next, you want to line your waterline. Now I'm just using a Maybelline Coal for this. Make sure you line the top and bottom and also blend that out underneath with the eyeshadow that we've just applied for an even more intense smoky look. Next, we're going to create a flick on the top lid. So I'm using my 17 Make Your Mark eyeliner pen and just creating a little flick with that and joining that underneath the lower lash line also. Next you want to curl your lashes and apply lots of mascara. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Volume Million Feline Lashes. I've been loving this mascara recently, it's really affordable and it does a great job of separating them out. For a unique look I'm just applying this Essence Crystal Eyeliner on top of my black liner. This is just going to give a really pretty duochrome kind of look to the eye. Just a subtle hint. And then for lipstick I'm using the Maybelline in 418 which is called Peach Poppy, it's a really pretty bright peachy pink shade. Before I go into creating the tears I'm just going to take two brightly coloured eye pencils, these are from Bourjois and Urban Decay and I'm taking them in the shade purple and blue and I'm just smudging those underneath my lower lash line before we start creating the tears. Now for the tears I'm going to be using loose pigments with Max Fix Plus. You want to take any kind of loose pigments that you want, I'm just using ones from Barry M and you want to mix them up with the Fix Plus or water so they become kind of a runny texture. Then you can take a kind of small pointed brush and start really applying and making those tears. If it's not liquid enough you'll kind of have to draw them on and then hopefully you'll start getting some real tears if you the more liquid you add. I've gone for a really pretty kind of pink, purple and blue colour palette for this look today. I wanted a really pretty kind of like water colour look but you can use any colour variations that you like and just have a play with building these colours up until you get your desired look. These Berry M pigments are so beautiful, they're kind of iridescent and they go so well together. If they're not liquid enough then don't worry you can kind of just make them look like tears with the brush. After I was happy with the amount of colour I decided just to add a couple of bits of Max Vanilla pigment which is kind of like a rose gold white shade and I'm also applying that underneath my brow bone and in the inner corners of my eye just to really open it up and make the whole look a little bit more airy fairy. I think I decided I needed, needed a bit more pink here. Next you want to wait for that all to dry, you can kind of use your hands in a fan motion to help that fast up the process. And I also decided to add some MAC Vanilla Pigment on my lips. Next I'm just taking some loose glitter, you can't really see this on camera but it really shows up and I'm just popping that on my eyelids and on top of the tears just for an even sparklier look. I decided more glitter was absolutely necessary so I'm taking my collection Glam Crystals eyeliner and just popping that on my top lash line and also on the tears as well to really build up that glitter look. I wanted this to kind of to look like a mermaid tears, so glitter is a must, especially for Halloween. I'm taking the Black Market shade from the Urban Decay Smoky palette and just building that up in the crease a little bit more. 
so this is the finished look I really hope you like it it's really striking really pretty but if you wanted to go a step further and turn this into a pop art Halloween look then you can do that I will be showing you in tomorrow's video I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial guys have a great weekend a great Halloween and I'll be back soon